All right, all right. Here it is, Webb Jr., what you've been waiting for. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles GameStop exclusive Leonardo. First things first. I took off the GameStop exclusive sticker. Why? Because such a beautiful packaging doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. So now people are going to be like, Oh my god, this isn't a GameStop exclusive. Where's the sticker? This can't be a GameStop exclusive. There's no sticker. Where's the sticker at? I'll tell you where the sticker at. It's right up your... Welcome back to another exciting episode of my Toy Box Reviews. Today we're going to look at the NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. This is a GameStop exclusive, as you can tell by the sticker. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the packaging before we uh, crack this bad boy out. Here we go. This is a front view. Let's turn on the side. Nice side view. Let's go ahead and check on the back view. Got uh, three little pictures. I think that's a quarter scale uh, of pictures. But I could be wrong. Bottom here we have a read up. Let's go ahead and read that up. Uh, let's get it in frame. Go ahead and pause it. and Alright, good to go. Down here we have all four turtles. I like this pose. This actually looks like the VHS uh cover how they are posed up like that I like the little NECA logo right here this is uh, pretty cool that reminds me of the old uh, family home entertainment logo so I think that's pretty cool uh, one thing I like about the packaging is this side view right here if we can uh, grab the other figures real quick I would like to show that off real quick Let's see if we can get them in the right order here Let's see, there's Donatello. I think Donatello went here. Yeah, I think so. And, uh, let's see, there's Raphael. Yep, that kid's over here. And I think that's really cool. Check that out. That's really cool. Yep. I figured that out because I was looking at it one day and I was like, hey, is that Mikey's nunchuck? And then I saw Leo's katana handle. So I figured, I was like, they got to go together. So I started putting them together and what, uh, well, that's how I'm going to display them. Well, how I'm going to display the boxes put together like that. But we came here for Leonardo. So let's put the rest of the turtles away. And we'll save that for another video. All right, now that we got him out of the packaging, let's uh, see what he comes with. Uh... First thing is a uh, bandana. Yeah, this is just a little attachment. The one he has on right now is on the right side. This one you put it on, make it on the left side. I guess for people that are pretty picky on where they want their bandana, I really don't care. <laughs> also, uh, it comes with a piece of pizza. Yeah. Get it focused. Mmm. Looks yummy. Black olives. Ooh. And sausage. Mmm. I like black olives. Mmm. My wife doesn't. She hates them. And he comes with a pair of hands. Alright. One thing cool about the pair of hands is uh, it actually is uh, interchangeable with the rest of the figures. So if you don't want Leonardo, I have the open hands up. Then uh, you can either have Donatello, Raphael, or Michelangelo have the hands. So that's cool. Alright. Accessories are alright. I would have been better with another head sculpt, but oh well. Let's get to the figure itself. Another accessory is, uh, is of course, the Katana Swords. Check it out. 
This thing looks awesome. I am so happy to have this. This looks awesome, Web Jr. You should get some. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. And give you a little, couple of looks around. This looks pretty cool. I'm glad his eyes aren't cross-eyed. I thought they were at one point, but then I was like, you know what? They don't look really that bad. I've seen them really, really bad. But uh, I do have some flaws to mine. One of the flaws I have is uh, right here. I'm going to take out the sword. Alright, here we go. I think it was this one. Okay. The sheath. The sword goes in all the way on this one. Alright. And then I put it on this side. Nothing. The other one actually locked in. Or... And this one's not doing anything. Figure I had it the wrong side, so I flipped them over. Nope. Won't go in. So that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, I'm going to display them with his swords. So, or should I say katanas? I'm going to have him display with his katanas, but uh, it kind of sucks. But not as, not as bad as this one. Another problem I have with it is uh, this leg right here. I can't get it to go any further. Now, as for the other leg, other leg, I can get it to go all the way up. This one won't go up all the way. Something, I guess I got to heat it up and, you know, work it, get it to move. But that's kind of a bummer. But, uh, other than that, the, the figure looks really, really good. I like it. All right, now let's get into the articulation. First, let's start with the head. Turns, I'll move the bandana. Turns all the way around. Nice little swivel right there. I like that. <laughs> Arms go up, not very high though. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks as if so there's a double jointed elbows, which is cool. Uh, right here, the hand turns, and bends in, bends out. Hmm. Not very far. All right, what else? Uh, legs. We already talked about the legs earlier. Well, they go out like that. There's movement there. Double jointed knees. Eh. Elbow, uh, knee pads in the way. Elbow pads are in here. They're getting in the way as well, but no, well, you got the idea. And I like the feet. Just get the feet to bend all the way back. Feet to bend all the way forward. Awesome. And is there an ankle pivot? A slight ankle pivot. Slightly. But, um, yeah. Very happy to have this figure. And I actually. Minus the flaws, it's a really good, really awesome figure. It looks great. I'm going to display it on my shelf proudly. I'll probably display it next to my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie poster. That'd be nice. Yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it. <laughs> or why I'm saying haven't seen the movie, go pick up a copy of the movie. It's pretty much everywhere. You can see it on DVD, Blu-ray, digital, whatever. But, uh, anyways. If I had to give this a score, I would give it an 8. It's above average, but with the flaws, that's what brings it down pretty much. Because I like my figures flawless. But, uh, yeah. If uh, you're interested in picking up one, uh, I would check on GameStop, 
constantly go in there, check on it. I know on the GameStop.com is actually where I picked up mine. And the only downside to that is I like to go into the actual stores and actually pick up the item and look at it and, you know, make my purchase there. You know, plus you get to check out and make sure it's not in bad condition or anything, you know. Joints and stuff, that's easy fix. I don't know how I'm going to do that one, but we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the rest of the turtles. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me which turtle you like to see next. Also, tell me what your favorite turtle is or who's your favorite turtle. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for joining me and uh, see you next time on my Toy Box Reviews. Say bye, Leo.